communicate today. You, okay? you all right there, intern GB? You okay, buddy? Is, is, is that a yawn? You're, you're yawning like a walrus. It's been yawns. a long week, man, but it's Friday. Let's go. Come on. Uh, Gabe, go. have you been practicing your singing voice, thinking about um, which uh, snippet you're going to sing for us here? Because we're going to attempt right. to make you sound like Miley Cyrus. There's I want to sound. I'm going to sound like me. All right, we're we're gonna. <laughs> You, We're you just going to pitch songs? it. Yeah. <laughs> they paused. They didn't yeah. know what to say. Um, uh, well, Somebody uh, took well. a song, a uh, Morgan Wallen song, and then they changed the pitch, and it sounds exactly like... Uh, okay. Miley, Miley Cyrus. Cyrus. So. It really does, and it's kind of freaky. So we're, we're testing this on Gabriel's voice. Yeah. Uh, we got a story up on our okay. website today. Josh uh, got this, Ooh, and uh, it's really interesting. Uh, he came across a Reddit <laughs> post uh, sharing a tweet from a place called Citizens Free Press. Hmm. And they are out in Portland where they uh, interviewed a transient. And they got the transient to say that the city of Billings, they they kind of like set up the questions. They're like, uh, excuse me, sure, they gave him a sandwich too. They're like, uh, did the city of Billings buy you a bus ticket to Portland? And he says, yes. And then they said, uh, you know, they, they asked a the couple other questions saying that the city basically paid to ship him to Portland. Wow. Uh, people are saying, you know what, this is... First off, it's not true. The city doesn't pay to ship any transients anywhere. Really? None of the city. The city city finances don't go to any of that. Okay. Uh, and uh, I guess the, the gist is that they're kind of trying to spread, you know, kind of fake news. Like, look, they're shipping all the transients here. And I've I thought been, it was really I've interesting. I've been hearing I, rumors about this. I've heard about it, too. And so, interesting, I actually ran into someone at Purple Cow last night. I was telling you about this lady uh, that's in, uh, she works for social services somewhere here in town. Okay. Um, and she, uh, I asked her about that. I said, do do city, do, like, because I feel like Bozeman sends their transients here. That's what I've heard. And and so I said, is that true? And she goes, okay, it's not true that none of the, the cities pay to send any of their transients anywhere. However. I was about to say. However, some of them do share resources to help people get into houses. So, like, if there's a homeless person here and they have a house come up in their network, you know, a rental or whatever that's in Great Falls, right. maybe we'll send one up there uh, and vice versa. If, you know, if Missoula's full, guess we, we can get you into a housing situation in Billings. So mm. the, the different agencies, the, you know, nonprofits and everyone that helps homeless and stuff like that, right? all of them do, you know, at times move people where they can get the resources but none of the cities pay to ship their homeless somewhere else. Interesting. I don't know. I thought it was... It, read that. Click, go, you guys should yeah, click it because it. there's a video too. Yeah, it's really interesting and uh, I just get the take on that. Josh is like, I'm not even going to waste my time reaching out to Victoria Hill at the city because he knows that they don't, that we don't <laughs> right. pay to ship them